Good evening, everyone. I have some spare time um, this evening as my dinner cools. So I wanted to do um, the intro for this fantastic video about the hidden compartments in my kitchen. As you can tell, I'm in my kitchen. Um, there's my window with my dying magnolia and my antique bottles and vintage. It's a mixture. Um, but this is the scene of the big surprise all my house had for me. So here are these cabinets over the window. And my house has had a lot of hidden or unexplained light switches. So I was trying to figure out how to turn on this light um, for, well, I didn't think there was a light over the sink. So I was going to hang this vintage petal lamp that I had here. So I was trying to figure out how to do that. Now I did actually, my dad located the switch for this light. <laughs> there is a light, it's not very bright. Um, so I was going to hang the lamp from what, well up there, that's a Romanian plate I have, but there's a little hook there. So I was going to try and hang it from this hook to what I thought was a screw over here. And then I was just going to bring it down and plug it in right there. But, um, it wasn't a screw. It was a knob. So let me spin you around and I'll show you where it is. If you look up there, um, now that I know what I'm looking for, I can tell that that right there is a little knob and there are hinges right there. And so, um, I will insert video from the night of the discovery. So there will be some, you know, vertical filming here. Um, and then once I saw that one, came over here and realized there was a compartment on either side. So actually the bulkhead, um, above my cabinets is completely open and not the previous owner. But, um, the owner who lived here for the longest, I think since the 50s, used it as storage. And if you saw my short, um, that's where my coffee maker <laughs> came from. So, um, let me insert that footage now and then I'll show you what I found. I went to hang a chain on that little, what I thought was a... Like screw and then I saw these hinges and let's see what happens because the hinges are gone holy moly treasure I might have found treasure let's find out Hot dogger. <laughs> Hello again, everyone. So after seeing what happened the night of the finds, I'm going to do a haul of the things I found in my house. Uh, you know, free with purchase. Expensive purchase, but... Mm. So I'm going to go in order of least exciting to most exciting at least for me you might think differently but the first two things are things i don't think i can find a use for so um actually well just the first one actually because i'd be terrified to use it um now this is like a buffet hot plate situation um made by Atlantic Precision Works. Do not immerse in water. 
it's still very like I cleaned it off but it's still very dirty and the plug has seen better days so this is going to move on to the great beyond I think I don't know maybe I'll take the cord off spray payment and use it for something else I don't know shall see. oh it might be a good base for a lamp okay now I'm getting sidetracked um, then there was this plate um, it's got some so all of the plates or pottery that I found up there largely had chips some of them I don't care I'm still going to keep using so um, this is Harkerware dishwasher proof made in the USA now it does have like a series of chips but they must have really loved this plate in order to stick it up in there to keep it so um, I might do something decorative with it outside haven't decided yet um, but I am gonna keep it with the house because it feels like I should Now moving on to the things that I'm planning to keep use or maybe pass on to somebody else, but we'll find. The most important one, you'll notice I'm drinking coffee. <laughs> now if you watched my short, you know that I found a coffee maker up in the void. <laughs> and it is this Melita Drip coffee pot. They still make it today. So it works. And so when I found it, got it cleaned up, it even had the scoop in it to measure your coffee. So, you know, it says there, Melita, and it gives you the size filter to use. Those filters are still made. So I hopped on eBay, got some filters, and luckily, uh, I've been having coffee ever since. Because I did not have my own coffee maker. I have a coffee maker at my job. Um, but I didn't have one of my own. And now I do. So you mix that with an electric kettle. And you got quick coffee. And it's delicious. <sighs> also, there were seven of these Courier and Ive Royal Ironstone plates. They all have condition issues. Little chips crazing um they were all almost all of them were marked but the marks were different so i think it was just age maybe they collected these over years because this one doesn't say courier knives but it does say ironstone but there are seven of these they're up in my cabinet i did use them all winter when i had people over mainly family also for entertaining I get a phone call well, while I'm trying to film this. Let me put this on do not this. Hold that thought. Let's continue. So, um, it was my dad calling. I had to take it. So, um, speaking of entertaining, so when I had people over, um, I did many charcuterie pottery parties because charcuterie means no cooking. And I'm a fan of no cooking whilst trying to unpack and everything. So this lovely glass plate, I haven't yet done any research on it. Um, it's just pretty, it's lovely. I will use it. Um, it did, it still has some gold around the rim, but not a lot, but it's perfect for your veggies. And you stick your uranium bowl right there full of dip, good to go. So. That is one of my favorite finds behind the coffee maker. Um, there was a lone hurricane glass up there. I'd love to know the story behind it. Did they get this in New Orleans? Did they steal it from a hotel? I don't know, but I would like to. So I haven't made a beverage in this yet. I shall have to remedy that. Let me know in the comments what I should put in here. I don't know that I ever made an actual hurricane. The hurricane season is only a few months away, so maybe I should make one. Um, my adult dull whip would be really good in here and pretty. 
especially if I get some cherries to put on top. I get sidetracked, so <laughs> let's keep it moving. Um, most of those came from the first cabinet I opened, the left-hand cabinet. And then I discovered the right-hand cabinet, and these items were in there. There is this turquoise thermos lunchbox. It has, no, it's very clean. It has a place to hold in your thermos, put your lunch in there, go to work. Um, I've been using it to hold my um, Star Wars pancake points. <laughs> so it stays up in the cabinet here. Um, I'm using it as a little storage box. I haven't yet used this because um, I haven't needed to take a thermos anywhere. Now when I first found it, it did not have this lid. It was just like this. Uh, but it cleaned up good, it's nice, still perfectly usable. Um, it does not fit in the thermos. I'm guessing that the thermos that came with um, the lunchbox, I mean, just either died or got lost or wasn't big enough and they moved to this one. But as I said in the opening of this video, I couldn't figure out how to turn on the light above my kitchen sink. My dad figured it out. And in so doing, dislodge this from right by where the light is. So now I have a full, complete Aladdin thermos made in Nashville, Tennessee, USA. So there was that. Um, now these, I got these cleaned up, but again, I haven't used them yet. I'm not quite certain. I'm, they're these. Um, they were still in their package um, from Hillshire Farms. It had a slit in it. I guess it probably came with meats and stuff. Hillshire Farms. They took those out. I'm betting it was a gift. They took them out. Shoved them up in there because they're like, we're never going to use these. But I do love fajitas. So... I now have a set of four sizzle plates. I'm gonna have to make some uh, sizzling steak fajitas. Um, but yeah, but they're made in Taiwan. But the uh, the plastic did say Hillshire Farms, so I'm guessing it was a set. Now, the find that my father found most exciting <laughs> was what you saw me pull out last. And it was the hot dogger. We did get it cleaned up. It's nice and shiny. It's good to go. It did have a crack on the handle, but I repaired that with some E6000. And it does work. If you want to see me cook hot dogs in this, let me know. Because I will. But only if you ask me to. <laughs> so, um, that was the finds in my kitchen cabinets above my kitchen cabinets my treasures in the wall um let me know if you have any thoughts or questions if you think i should cook hot dogs in this what drink i should put in my hurricane glass all of those just drop them down in the comments let me know what you thought of this video and i'll see you next time bye thanks for joining me on my quest for vintage oddities and antiques